You know why we're here. You know what the deal is. There's going to be a ghost committing tricks. Until recently, we thought we're the, we were the only ghost doing this. But we learned last time there might be an entirely separate ghost doing some evil tricks. We can't have that. Giving ghosts a bad name. We're entering chapter 14, 128 a.m. We don't have that much long until, uh, longer until dawn. Only a few hours. Temzik Park, the site of the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight. And the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. Why is the chef here? I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? It's trick time. Alright. Getting here. Getting to... Okay, we can go into here. Huh? What's he doing here? Mamma mia! Wah! A little late. It's already ice cold. Alright, we're in the delivery box. Oh, let's wait till he swings back. Can I reach him from here? Now that looks like as far as he goes. He tilts his head back. There we go. From there into swing harder. From there, we can get into the, the, the giant basketball. We can spin. Here's a boot. A leaflet. Another leaflet. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff up in this tree. Here's a love letter. Uh, we can rustle it. And it's still caught in a branch. But I guess that's fine. We can close this umbrella. Can I get there? No, I cannot. Okay. Can't do anything with the rugby ball. What if I open it from here? I don't know if that changes anything. Why don't we spin this globe? Yep, too late. What are we saying here? Phew, I got this thing spinning pretty fast. I didn't even put much effort into it. This is quite a bit of power and speed for a piece of playground equipment. I just imagine all the poor kids who get sent flying all over the park. It is kind of an unusual thing for... I mean, I had mem like I had those merry-go-rounds on, on playgrounds, but not like a giant metal orb. Alright. Put that in there. <clears throat> Do I want to move this for some reason? I don't know if there's a reason I want to do that, but... The tire into the leaf and into her brain. Oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected expression, I gather... You didn't find what you were looking for? Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible. What is it? There, in the grass. You'd better see for yourself. All right. Oh. What is that? It looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. And now that I suppose we found it. We can't just leave it there, can we? I mean, that's what we've been... We've been doing that. Nope, I suppose not. 
right. Let's, can I open this dumpster? Can. I don't know if there's a reason I would want to do that. There's the mascot. There's a trowel over here. And... Who do we got? Yeah, we saw this person earlier in the game. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. I urge you to peruse it thoroughly. Examine it in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name. My name? Huh? What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Okay. Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching. But we are young. Hmm. Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. But I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Let's do it. Right. Temsic Park. That would be, uh, that investigator. And so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay. And what does this have to do with this rock of the gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. Excuse me, but uh, I have to use the restroom. Ugh. Oh no, that's that's her. I'm coming. Just hold on. I'll be right there. I've located the target, Beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the apartment building at the right time. Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? Eek! Oh, gods, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. Yeah. Strong girl. Yeah? What in the world? What just happened? Oh, that's Mino. Mino? Mino the mascot, the symbol of Temzik Park. Forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, yes I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead? Yes, yes, precisely. That is called the mischief of the gods. 
Was it the mischief of the gods? Or was it a ghost trick? But nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait a minute. What if there is somebody with much greater powers than me? It's trick time. Okay. Look at that! There's another flame besides mine! Oh, so that is the flame of a god, is it? But hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Ah, uh, pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Hmm, maybe I better try talking to this person. All right, well, for the first time, well, we, we spoke to Ray, of course, but aside from that, for the first time, we are encountering another ghost out in the wild. Let's talk. What? What the? This person with much greater powers than me. It's... It's... You? Hey! <laughs> Sissel! Oh my, it's... Missile! You look well. For b Why is Missile dead again? Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really hard, and I did it! I saved Miss Camilla! Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked! After Miss Camilla went out and you left... Yes, we remember this. This is where we left off with Missile. I walked like crazy to make my own path. And I did it! Oh, there we go. And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world. And then, here at this park, I found her at last. Yeah, you guessed it, I barked. You bet I did, and I went running after her, too. Oh, no! And then, I, I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anybody else could. And I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So? You went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death? You bet I did! Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. <laughs> now 
shows my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know. It looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw toward the core. Oh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel. Go ahead and try it for yourself. All right. Now we have a very long reach now. I, I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Hmm. And so then you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside? Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? I, I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. You can't? Then how did you... I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core, too. A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. All right. What, what in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. Swap things with the same shape? Go ahead and try it. Touch the swap button. All right, here is the swap button. That, that's incredible. And so that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. Meager? Because, you see, I saw one more. I happened to notice one more core. There was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. If Mino could be swapped again with that, then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. But what is that thing? It's too big to be elite. Well, we know what it is. It's the rugby ball. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than me now. So why didn't you swap the missile? I couldn't. I can stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Sissel. But this was just too far for me. I couldn't reach. I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death, if I do say so myself. I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me. Sissel, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally. So, we're going to drop that Mino thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. Alright, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then you'll have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. Looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready. Whenever you want me to use my swap trick, just touch the thing, that, that, me, the me icon. Me icon's down there now. That way, you'll be able to control me. And then, if you touch the you icon, control will come back to me. By the way, you can switch between us with select, too. Not that I know what that is. Select, huh? I'll remember that. Okay, let's try it. Together, we can stop Mino from hurting anybody. 
It's trick time. All right, missile. Your powers are the key this time. Okay, I'm ready. I can swap anything that has the same shape. Just call on me if you want to find anything you want to try. Probably the best thing to do is just try a bunch of things and see how it goes. And if I see something we can swap, I should use the missile icon. Well, that is kind of how we usually do things. Just try things out and see what happens. Let's, uh, let's like that. Let's see if I switch to him. He can reach the lever. Lever does not have an action. Let's see. Um, and then he can... Well, no, it, I guess he can't reach that from... from there. And then he can't go back to the place that he came from. So if that's the case, maybe he can't actually reach up there now. I'm sorry about all this trussle, trouble, Sissel. If only my paw could reach a little further. I could have swapped that big lump one more time. Swapped it with that rugby ball in the tree nearby. That's all right. That's what we're going to do now, together. I'm going to give it my best. The first thing to do is to find a path to that rugby ball. So let's see. If I... Well... He... Sissel can't actually seem to reach anything from here. Restart that. Okay, so this is where we're starting from. Alright, he can reach that from from there. Missile can get to the trowel. Okay, here he comes. Phew, here you come already. I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. Mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. And now the recklessness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. Hmm, I've been thinking. If we could stop this man from running, maybe he wouldn't get squished. It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has taken over. Hmm, stop him, eh? Is there anything that we could do to stop him? Whoops, that's... He's swinging on that. Oh, wait. He is in the middle of swinging on that. Oh, hold on. I need to... Oh, I, I guess I would probably need to use both of them at once to do this. Okay, he's already out of there. What do you think of my lightning fast pace? I wish you would knock it off, that's what I think. We don't have time to prepare. I think we're gonna have to wait to find a stop him from running. As far as I can see, the only way to do that is to use the playground equipment. The what? You know, the seesaw, the swing, those things. Precisely. Except, there is one more piece of equipment to be exact. Hmm, stop him with the equipment, huh? Maybe I should rethink things here. Yeah. We probably do need to rewind that to get him with the, uh, the globe, the child thrower. Okay, so, we need to move this all around. Let's get him up in here, and then let's switch. 
Um, let's switch to a thistle. And let's have him do a trick to get the ball down here, get into that ball. Switch to missile. Um, let's see. It looks like, okay, it looks like missile cannot do the trick. So I guess the only thing missile can do is uh, swap things, not necessarily do ghost tricks. Um, we'd be talking if we did that. Uh, well, maybe if we can get missile into the baseball then. Let's switch to Sissel. Oh, actually, these two things are the same shape. So. Okay, well, that's going that down there anyway, which is what I wanted. Uh, but no, he cannot actually reach that. So maybe I still need to swap. all the way to up to the tree. Well, he can get to the ball. Look at this funny flattened ball. Yep. It's the same shape as that horrible Mino. But it's too far to swap from here. Even this ball is starting to look horrible to me. Hmm. I have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Knock it down from the tree, I say. There must be something we can do. Okay, he's on this. So what if we try spinning this fast? Wow, I didn't see this coming. Don't you know the first thing about the globe climber? Huh? Even little children treat it with the respect it deserves. They know that unless they spin it gently, there's no stopping it. Yeah, it does look pretty dangerous. It looks like I'm just destined to fly through the air like this for a while. Hmm. This might just buy us some time. Maybe he'll just keep spinning around like that the whole four minutes. I'm sorry, but I don't think I would stand for it that long. But anyway, at least we stopped him running for a while. Let's do what we can while we have this chance. Okay. So, we want to knock down the, the thing. The ball. Is there anything around here that could be used to create some kind of impact? it over. Does not seem that Sissel himself... Well, what if we rustled this again? Did do anything? Okay, that can bring us up to that. Close the umbrella. comes that man. Fast enough to scare even a quick little doggy like me. Uh-oh. The rugby ball is still in the tree. Ah, behold, the recklessness of youth. Yes, that recklessness of yours that's causing us so much trouble. No one can stop the recklessness of youth. Well, if we can't stop it. Then I guess we're gonna have to find a way to make it work for us. But if he comes running too fast, we won't have time to get ready. Hmm. Looks like figuring out what to do with his recklessness is the key. So, he has something to say. Oh, that was so close. If it hit the ball, it would have knocked it down. Is that all this umbrella can be used for? For knocking the rugby ball down? And don't forget about my powers. And don't forget about my recklessness of youth. Let's see. Do 
Does the ball have a trick? The ball does not have a trick. Let's see. Well, we could leave the umbrella there closed, or we could reopen it. That is starting to slow down. wonder if he would jostle the umbrella. Oh, he sent that ball in there. All right, well, that ball seemed like it might have been a key. Sissel, did you see that? Did you see the seesaw? Yeah, really sent that little ball flying, didn't it? Such a pity. It's too bad it didn't hit the rugby ball and knock it down. Yeah, maybe it's a little too light to do that. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe we should try sending up something a little heavier. All right. I suppose that means that we would need to rewind. already read this. Well, they said send something heavier up there. We do have this ball and this tire. Well, don't know if we can... Sw I mean, they're, technically, they're both round. They're both round objects. I need to wait for him to get on that. In the meantime... can do this. And we can possibly do the thing that we did before, but we could try opening the umbrella and seeing if that might do anything to help us out. Alright, we need to speed this up before we do that. So if we bring this, bring that down, if we open that, I don't know if opening it will do anything. Let's see. The missile I don't think needs to be in the rugby ball. Basketball. That is also a round thing. So we do have three round things. Um, okay, that, that is swappable. And let's see. Get him a little 
So over in this direction, maybe. Okay, basket into the umbrella. Didn't knock it over, though, did it? Wow. I so did not see that coming. I never thought the umbrella would catch the ball. Did you see that? The tree branch, it shook a little. I think I saw it shake too. If it only shook a little more, it would knock that terrible rugby doll, ball, doll, rugby ball down from this terrible tree. Maybe it just needs a little more weight. I'm sure we can do this. You just have to put our heads together. Everything looks good so far. We just need one more step. So could it actually be that we need the tire? Yeah, we can't do nothing. We can't do anything more with that. So maybe it is actually the tire that we do. Well, let's reset again and see if we do use the tire for this. They say we need more weight. The tire is... The tire would be heavier. Switch to missile. Okay. Swapped. Let's let's see. It's too heavy. The seesaw won't budge. Maybe because of that swap I made? I guess a little ball is about all the weight I can handle. I don't, if that's the case, then I guess Sissel is not going to be able to get over there. Missile can, but that doesn't actually help us out. Well, I mean, I guess Missile could swap these. And then that would... Well, not that. Um, let's see. Let's go back to... Let's go back to this. Nope, still can't do it with the basketball. It's so heavy, I can't move it very much. Maybe because of the swap I made. I guess a little ball is about all the weight we can handle. Well. Uh, we could swap these back. Is in that. Here. Into that. Not quite. There. Spin faster. Spinning faster. swapping these and see what happens to this guy. I mean, either this thing is going into the air, or I don't know what is... I don't... This guy is gonna go splat, probably. Oh, 
Okay, it went in the air, but not enough. Not enough. Sizzle! Did you see that? Did you see the seesaw? Yeah, I guess that tire's too heavy to get that much height. I wouldn't have been surprised if it launched me into the air. Yeah, that's what I was kind of expecting to happen. That tire does have quite a bit of weight to it. But no matter how heavy it is, I can still swap it. So weight isn't a factor when it comes to swapping, eh? Alright, so... We are going to have to go back. Sissel. Um, so we can get to the other side. Here comes. I uh, can't get in there yet. that in there spin oh. there we go trick spin faster Missile's turn. And we know the basketball can get into the open umbrella. Let's get him back over there. And I think we just have to wait for him to jump on the seesaw. Missile can should be able to reach this far. What is this? Yeah, okay, he can reach that far. There, we move the ball. What do you think, missile? Huh. With the ball there, I think I can do it! In just a few seconds, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then from there, you can swap Mino one more time. The final moment is near, Missile. Are you ready? You bet! It's trick time. Okay, so now it's all up to Missile. Uh, so we need to swap Mino with the leaf. Does that mean we have to get up and into the tree. That. Can't seem to reach. Nope. There's a ball. That's right, Leaf is up there. Pushes him. Right, this swap already happened. And then... Okay, watch me, Sissel. Here I go. Finishing touches. You can do it, Missile. Swap Mino with that ball. And then we... that. There! 
Yeah, how's that? My head has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. And now Mino is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Fate has been averted. Now nobody has to die. Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? Talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. <sighs> Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla. And to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course. You're right. Okay, Missile. Have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then. To the present! And so, Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lind listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright, after all. After all, she is me! Missile, are you in there? Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camilla to me. I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her. Missile. Eek! Miss Lynn! I'm going to leave it up to Missile. That's right, I'm going to leave it all up to my dog. <laughs> kind of looks like Missile has been is being left up to the wind. Uh oh. I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. My apologies, this is for you. Oh! You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you! Not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. Eh. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty. Hmm. Hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue. Eh? Excuse me, but are you... N no, it couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you... Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was ten years ago in this park. Ten years ago? Are you talking about dot dot dot? It's trick time, apparently. All right, let's, uh... Let's talk. Have you met this strange young man before, Lynn? I don't remember, but he said ten years ago, and this park. 
It could only be one thing that I can think of. Hmm. Looks like I'd better talk to Mr. Leaflet here. Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? It could just be coincidence. But apparently you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about it? What happened ten years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually about to do just that. All right. Well, first let's ask about the Rock of the Gods. What's this Rock of the Gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Missile. Wait a minute, you say G-O-D-S, but do you mean D-O-G-S? Of course not, don't be silly. This is no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? Huh. Rock of the Gods, Temzik Park, says it right there. The Rock of the Gods. The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there these ten years. Ever since that day it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? So this rock you've been talking about... Is a meteorite? Precisely. It dropped from the sky on that day, ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. M me Well, let's talk about... Ten years ago. That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom... I heard the scream of a little girl. Eek! M now just calm down and drop that weapon. So stay back if you come any closer. I'll shoot her. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help her, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick it was painful, just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish-white. When it crashed into the ground... The meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments... ...pierced into the criminal's back. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Ten years ago... The little girl that was you was saved by the Rock of the Gods. Oh my! I can't believe it! Ah. The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temzik. And still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Alright, let's talk about Temzik. It's a word we heard like back at the beginning of the game, but hasn't come up much. I... I never knew about this Temzik. I always thought Detective Jowd was the one who saved me. You were very young then, and you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. 
A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Lin. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news, and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Temzik after the name of the park it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. We're talking about turning the park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in the park. And I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park. The Rock of the Gods. That is my mission. I see. I shouldn't leave Missile here. I'm taking you with me. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that. But Detective Jout, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Temzik thing. And if he knew... And the man died. I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? The rocks of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives, like the ripples on a pond when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. We found the music box, Detective Jowd! Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Once everything had been resolved, I wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd! Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. Just, uh, yeah, wrench at it with all your strength is the knack, is how you do it. Calls that a knack? Looks more like brute strength to me. Here you are. You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. Ha <laughs> ha. In the case report, there was mention of some scorch marks. When it happened, Camilla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I, I, I actually, this is not me telling this. I guess this would be this would be you uh, telling this story, Detective Jowd. I wasn't even there. Right, Minister. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you foot should find scorch marks behind it on the frame, too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words, it proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Well, of course not. It killed her mom. What do you think? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. Uh, but that angle uh, was never brought up in court. 
And so, as Justice Minister, I must call off the execution at this point. I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jowd. Now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Alright, I guess we should probably ask him about the meteor. <laughs> well, first we can talk to the Justice Minister. Mm. What's the matter? I just don't know. What should I have done five years ago? Back then, nobody had any way of knowing the true nature of the manipulator. It wasn't anybody's fault that we didn't know the truth. Do you really think so? Of course. Besides, what's important right now is... Deciding what to do next. Am I right? She's right, Mr. Minister. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, yes, of course. I do believe she is. Uh, mm -hmm. What is it now? I just don't know. What should I do next? You'll figure it out. We believe in you. and up here. Sissel, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight... I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and gotten involved in their fates. The only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost me memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. We just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions. In order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. So will you finally answer why you were painting me in your cell? Let's talk about the manipulator. Sissel told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yeah, and it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister, too. <sighs> Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. No! <sighs> Sissel, do you think... Do you think that's what happened to me, too? Huh? What are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You were manipulated, too? There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But, who is it? And why did they do it? I mean, that is uh, what we're trying to figure out. Let's talk about Camilla's contraption. That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. Like, why was it connected to a gun? I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right, I knew it. See, Detective Jowd? No, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jowd about it. Told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town? I've never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? Hmm, that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? One more thing to talk about. Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. 
Temzik. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago. You were there. Huh. <sighs> so you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorite saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite. Huh. I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. But that's not true. That's just, that's really a technicality, Detective Jowd. You were trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? The truth about 10 years ago. Okay, more truth. We got the first truth, which was that Detective Jowd killed someone in the park 10 years ago to save Lynn. We got the second truth, which was that Jowd didn't actually kill the guy, but rather a meteor came down and killed the guy. Now it is time for the third truth about 10 years ago. On that day, 10 years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident. A suspect who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess, unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. I fired a warning shot. I fired a warning shot, I'm sorry. I wanted to catch him. Bad. That warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was young and green detective, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all it was all my fault. I shouldn't have given a warning shot. I should have just aimed for the head. Detective Jowd, I would have aimed to the to the head too. All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last ten years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I'd done. I painted pictures in my cell. Nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finally fished my, finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Well, wait just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight. It was my face. I couldn't mistake it. Who else has hair like that? Are you telling me I was the man in the park at that time? That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole, of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. 
But but hold on, Detective Jowd. I can't be true. I just met Sissel for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me, because I shot him. By the way, the name that I know that man in the park that day by isn't Sissel. What? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? Uh, I... Mr. Minister! In the Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. Uh, what? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed that it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Oh. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the... <laughs> What's going on, Inspector Cabanella? The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. Now, the chain continues to grow ever longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even further from knowing than when I started. That is the end of the chapter. That was a lengthy one. And uh, we've saved. And yes, we will be continuing on into chapter 15 at 2.55 a.m. So this was a very uh, eventful chapter. Well, first of all, of course, um, the, the main thing to take away is that we finally ran into Missile again. And uh, not only that, but Missile is dead. And not only that, but Missile has uh, his own ghost trick powers as well. So I guess different ghosts do have different powers. Um, and that would explain why the Manipulator has different powers themselves. The power to possess and manipulate people. So each ghost, each ghost has different ghost powers. Uh, so that was a that was a good chapter, be uh, because of course because of course we got to team up with Missile, uh, and then we also learned about the, the meteorites from ten years ago. We learned that uh, Sissel was well. I mean, the person that we look like was the person who died ten years ago. Though that person was not named Sissel, um, and that does kind of tie into something that I brought up earlier about how ghosts can just show themselves as whoever it is they believe they are and we've been appearing like this because we believe this is the person we are uh, but was that ever true to begin with but of course we also know that there's a video of lynn killing us or rather this body earlier tonight so that body definitely did not look like a corpse that's 10 years old I mean, even if someone, even if maybe the manipulator, maybe the manipulator can possess corpses, but even if that's the case, that corpse uh, did not look like it was, it's been dead for 10 years. So that is still a question, even if we're not actually this guy that we believe we are, uh, how was this guy still alive and walking around 10 years later? We do not know. Um... And then there's the question of, are we actually the ghost of that guy with the red suit and the banana hair? We don't know the answer to that either. 
And also, at the, a big heel turn. Ca what is Cabanella doing? Cabanella is in on it. But what is it? We still don't know what it is. We know that the blue skin people want Zhao to be killed, but we don't know why. Whatever it is, Cabanella is in on it. But we still have to discover what it is. Uh, and that's what we will be doing as we continue on with Ghost Trick, the Phantom Detective.